Hi guys, welcome to Techie DIY. E-bikes are cool but can be expensive to buy. This kit provides an affordable solution consisting of a wheel with a built-in motor and a removable battery. It simply replaces the front wheel on an existing bike and converts it into an e-bike. There are several different wheel sizes and brake options to choose from. The kit includes the wheel and tyre, a thumb speed control, battery and charger and a fitting kit. The manual is quite comprehensive including instructions on how to dismantle the motor but some of it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. The wheel is driven by a 240 watt brushless motor. The battery is a 36 volt 3200 milliamp hour pack and it plugs into the hub. It also has a USB power output port. The charger plugs into the battery and there are some lights on the front that show the state of charge. The battery is one of the most important parts of this kit so let's have a look at how it's constructed. The shell is held together with screws. There are 10 18650 cells in series. A PCB for battery management and cell balancing. A power connector PCB and the USB charger PCB. The case has a sealing gasket for weatherproofing and the power connector is an XT60. Installing the kit is easy. Just remove the existing front wheel, then slot the new wheel into the front forks and secure the hub with washers and nuts. I did have a problem with a fixing hole which was in the way of the battery slot, so I cut that off. You can test the wheel by turning on the power, giving it a spin and opening the throttle. The thumb throttle is then fitted to the handlebars. If you don't have the space available then there's an extension bar that allows the throttle lever to be positioned by your thumb. The phone holder is fitted. cables connected and finally the cables are tie wrapped to the frame. The holder grips the phone solidly and it also includes a USB port for charging. You can download the iMortor 2 app from the Play Store or the App Store and once the power is turned on it communicates the wheel with Bluetooth. It asks for a password which defaults to 6666. There's a configuration screen under My and Parameter setting. The display units can be set to either kilometres or miles. The number of poles were specified in the manual as 56. Cruising mode turns on a simple cruise control. To enable it you hold down the thumb throttle for a short period. The power level is then set and you can release the lever. The motor continues to operate until the lever is pressed again. Starting mode selects whether the bike has to be moving before power can be applied. On the main screen there are three settings for the maximum speed, three being the highest, and the basic trade-off is the faster you go the quicker the battery depletes. This is with setting 1 selected, setting 2, and setting 3. Although it's not obvious on camera, this is climbing up a moderate slope and towards the end I needed to pedal to keep up momentum. At maximum speed and using the pedals as little as possible, I'm gaining about 40 minutes and 9 miles. If you use it in one of the lower speed settings, then it should last longer. Overall, this is a good kit for turning an old bike into an e-bike. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.